here we are, my Honda Wave. I've had this thing on the road for a little over a year. It was built in 2015, but I ended up uh, getting my hands on it in 2020. And I got it road legal in my country, which was a bit of a process, and now it's been a faithful commuter. 8,210 kilometers, it had 1,200 kilometers on it when I got the thing and it served me so well I've just put an aftermarket body kit on it I put the front basket on it and I put the new lamb locker pipe or new lamb looker pipe on it as you can hear and it, it's been so much fun riding this thing to and from work I feel like I've got the best daily in the world but there are a couple of issues uh, that's the fact that I've got a whole bunch of parts waiting for this in the shed and they're not on it <laughs> so I guess it's about time I follow up with my promise and we make a tie drag bike so here we are it's time to do some stuff on this bike it has had a lot of use I've ridden this thing to and from my day job for almost one year I've put on well over 6,000 kilometers I've done quite a few oil changes I've ridden over three days on gravel with dual purpose tires on this thing uh, I've had this front basket absolutely stuffed full of things I made a protective inner layer for it that would keep things waterproof uh, I've had the new lamb like a pipe which is on this side here I've plastic dipped the spokes black uh, I hit a rabbit while I was riding, which is what's caused this down here, which is really unfortunate. You know, I'm a big fan of animals, but unfortunately I was riding down a dark road at about five in the morning and thwack, the thing hit uh, the front of my bike and I stayed on it thankfully and uh, my fairings were unfortunately a bit smashed. So that's why I've got the drift, drift stitch happening here. Um, one of the only other things I did was put these heated grips here. Uh, Oxford heated grips are awesome because I ride this thing and it does get a little bit cold here in New Zealand in winter so it's 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 nicer than wearing super thick gloves that make your hands feel immobile but I want to make this thing a tie drag bike I tried to make this thing a tie drag bike by using this tire here but unfortunately this thing which is a Indonesian made 509017 went flat immediately you can see how tiny this thing is but I've got a different set of wheels for this bike as well so the 509017 was just a little bit too small so now we've got 50 by 100 by 17 they've got a thick a sidewall which means I should be a bit better off uh, as far as punctures go you know this thing lasted two days before I got a puncture I've got really really beautiful eat my dust IRC drag tires so if you look at them side by side obviously this one's not inflated so there's a bit more of a profile here but yeah I'm really looking forward we'll see if we can chuck these things on today there may be some extra bits I don't have that I need to put these on uh, but however these are a second set of wheels that I will use exclusively for drag racing I may have them on just for this video but they will not stay on so if you see these wheels on and off it's because these tires are actually not meant for daily road use How good is this? So this is a Nui Racing Project extended swing arm. Now a couple of cool things I'd like to show you. That if I hold these two swing arms side by side, uh, the shock mounts are actually in the same place. The thing that's been extended is the part beyond the shock mounts. So as you can see, if I hold it below, this is the original space for your uh, wheel to be adjusted in and here where it ends is where it starts on the extended swing arm so this is a plus two inch extended swing arm uh, alloy all the way through really beautiful Nui Racing Project logo which has been riveted onto the swing arm really nice CNC adjusters in the end here which I'm really looking forward to using I'm hoping everything works here one thing I didn't take into account was the fact that my brake rod isn't longer and uh, my brake stay which is the part that stops the rear brake uh drum brake spinning around that's not longer so i'm hoping it works i do have a longer chain we'll just go and see what happens and now the last part of this video is our YSS world class suspension if you know anything about motorcycles you know YSS is a serious player in the suspension world I really 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 have appreciated what they've made ever since I used to live in Thailand but um why have I bought these because these are dedicated Honda Wave shocks Let's open them up. Well packaged. Oh, yes. I have not really looked at these. I've had them for quite a while. I've just ignored that they were there because I wasn't going to use them. Uh, these are only about 10 millimeters shorter than the original shocks and they are on the same angle. So I'm not actually going to be lowering the back that much. I'm not trying to lower this bike. Uh, so for all of those lowering fans out there, especially you QCR boys, my apologies but uh, it's still gonna be hectic nonetheless 
because you can see the the supreme quality of a YSS shock is just apparent the second you lay eyes on it everything's machined really well it feels solid you know it doesn't feel like a cheap uh, mass-produced shock which I have I can show you I can you know here's your mass-produced Chinese shock that probably doesn't even have the reservoir at the back connected all the way through um, this thing's quite old so of course it looks a bit average but it just doesn't hold a candle to this thing here which I'm really 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 looking forward to throwing on there are a few things I've got to do first I've got to take the seat base out I've got to take uh, the side plastics off this cover here so we can access the swing arm so I'm gonna to get to removing all the stuff doing all the boring stuff the fuel line to the injector is clipped in on these things here or just sits in there so you've got to be really careful but this is what the seat base of a Honda Wave 125 looks like this is the amount of storage you've got I got a couple of little things inside there but yeah you can fit a full face helmet um, it's really awesome I can fit my full face HJC i70 with my GoPro mount on the front inside there and close it securely now as you can see underneath the uh, seat base it's just absolutely filthy if you go right down there you can see the chain all the build up down here on the uh, plastic retainer for the swing arm which is pretty insane so yeah this is what the inside of the frame looks like there is my ecu and yeah there is the back of the shock mounts so that's how you get this little puppy here out that's it that's the uh, side panel off there's a few different screw and mounting points and um this is an aftermarket one made by NCA in Thailand. Uh, this usually says Honda. And um, the date panel, or the date grid, actually has no stamps in it. So, don't know when they were made. But, yeah, this is cool. Um, just aftermarket. comes with the colour and you've got to apply the stickers yourself. Every side panel I take off has got a year's worth of grime built up underneath it. So, yeah, I clean the outside of this thing quite a lot. But it's just hard to get into places like this. And the panels are removable, but you've got to remove, like, three other panels to get to this one. Yeah. Here is the swing arm. I need to remove the chain. I need to remove the rear wheel. I need to uh, unbolt the bottom of the shocks and yeah, we'll rip that swing arm out. And there's a whole bunch of stuff on the other side I've got to remove as well. All right, well the rear wheel is off. And here we are, here is the new limb looker pipe, which is uh, a little bit worse for wear to be honest, but I didn't buy it just to baby it. Um, the header pipe has been bashed in quite a few times on different rides that we've done. Uh, there's surface rust forming where the uh, muffler joins the header pipe and I'm probably gonna have to brush that back and re-black it but that's okay uh, other than that yeah it's just taking a bit of a hammering this is the part where it sits up against the foot pegs so yeah it's um an awesome pipe uh, sure there could be things a tiny bit better with it but I really like the sound and like the noise and I've got a new cover for here as well which I'm looking forward to putting on so okay well there you go done swing arm is removed Here's the swing arm mount bolt. Here's the swing arm itself with the adjusters falling out. There you go. Uh, just a little box tube. It's okay, but there's a lot of it starting to waste away and get surface rust. So, you know, it's good to good time to clean this thing up and keep it in the background just in case it ever need it again. All right, so I've got the swing arm half mounted, but there's a few differences, as you would imagine. All right, that's one shock off. The bushing was kind of pushed out and it wasn't sitting right, so oops. Moment of truth. Woo. All right, so here we have it. Uh, the shocks are on, the swing arm's on. Let's see if everything else fits. It's getting pretty close and I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm gonna clean up a whole bunch of under here as well, which I won't film, but yeah, wow, how cool. That just makes it look brand new. Can't wait to have the plastics on and stuff like that. And yes, eventually we will um, be changing the color of the plastics. We'll be rebuilding this engine. Uh, we'll get those wheels on there permanently. Uh, we'll probably possibly lower the front. We'll get the front suspension sorted a bit. Um, we'll get this thing dyno tuned and retuned completely. So this will be a long term project, but this is step number one. Get this swing arm sorted, put those shocks on, put these wheels on, have a bit of a blast and see how it feels. All right, so we've got these wheels on. We've got uh, everything done that we wanted to do. Uh, these tires are super soft. I'm not gonna keep them on here for too long because they're wearing away the rubber really quickly. I'll show you soon. But we're on our way to an event. Let's go see what happens.
right, so it's recap time. This is part one of the Thai drag bike build. And this is basically just a mock-up to see how do I feel about half the stuff that I've got. I've got a whole bunch of parts sitting there that I have not used in this part of the build, as this is only part one. All we've done is put the new front and the new rear wheels on. They have Eat My Dust drag tires, which are 50 by 100 by 17. I also have a new disc here. As you may see, it's got kind of an arrow pattern that goes around, which is quite cool. Uh, I've got new pads in there, of course, for the new disc. And uh, there is a carbon cover on my new lamb like exhaust now. So um, yeah, it's, it's going okay. It's still very much just a normal Honda Wave. I've just got a different color plastic. I've got the standard basket. Uh, the rear shocks have been changed. As you can see there, we've got YSS shocks. I've got the Nui Racing Project swing arm as well, which is super awesome. Down here, there is a big gap, which I'm wanting to sort out. I've got a smaller sprocket to put on the rear, which means I will be able to bring this back a bit. So we'll see what happens. But one thing, these wheels are coming off. I use this bike as a daily commuter and I do not want to be destroying those tires. After maybe one or two weeks commuting, that rear would be absolutely gone. They're so soft. So I'm gonna go back to the original rear rim, which is quite a bit bigger than what's on here at the moment. <laughs> That's the end of part one. Stay tuned, part two will be coming soon. This bike will no longer be the color it is. Uh, there will be a few other changes happening to this thing, so stay tuned. It's going to be awesome, and eventually we will get to this engine build, but that's going to be the last part of this build. I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like what you've seen, subscribe, because there's going to be more coming about this Honda Wave drag bike.